And joining me now for this segment of Democracy 2014 is Congressman Sander Levin. He represents Michigan's 9th Congressional District. He's the Democrat there, and he is seeking two more years there in Washington. We appreciate you joining us. Glad to be here as always, Chuck. It's always a pleasure having you. Congressman, you went to Washington back in 1982. That's a long time ago. You're the ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Um, jobs have always been very, very important to you. And it's been a big debate in this state. From your assessment, where is Michigan right now in terms of jobs and who's more responsible for creating the climate we're having now? Has it been the governor and his programs or has it been you and the president in Washington and what you've done with the auto industry? Well, it's been a variety of sources and it's better, but we have a long ways to go because wages on the average for the middle class have been stagnant. The upper 1% have done very well, but everybody else has been more or less treading water. I think the main source of growth here in the last uh, several years, the overall national picture, but saving the auto industry. And I was privileged to work with my colleagues and to work with the president. And he stood up for the auto industry of this country and for this state. And when GM and Chrysler were on the ropes, the president, and we worked with him, said, we're going to pull ourselves together and make sure it can survive. It's thriving. I would say that's the main source of the rebound here in the state of Michigan, because as you know, when the auto industry does well, it ripples throughout the economy here. All right. You've been in Washington a long time. You've passed a lot of legislation. If you get to go back to Washington for two more years, what will be your agenda? What is it you want to do in the new session of Congress that perhaps you haven't had a chance to do up to now that would benefit the voters of the 9th Congressional District? Because there's so much work that's left to be done. You mentioned jobs. We've got some more work to do in terms of economic growth. We also have so many outstanding issues, highways, the roads in this state, just go back to the time you started here, what, 33 years? Long the time. roads were really smooth. Mm -hmm. When I started, we were proud of our highways. They've deteriorated. We haven't passed a long-standing federal bill. We have that to do. We've got the immigration bill. We've got tax policy that's within our jurisdiction. My brothers worked so hard, and I with them, on these tax loopholes. People ship jobs overseas and they benefit from that and they don't pay taxes back here and they take some deductions against their taxes here. So we've got a lot of work that needs to be done making sure health care continues to work better. So I want to continue this fight on these programs because we've been stagnated in Washington. We've had such deep divide. Everyone complains about the condition of Michigan's roads, but they always get hung up on how do we pay to fix the roads that we have? If you had to single out a way that you think would be the best way to pay for the fixes, what would it be? It's going to be a variety of sources. I think there also will have to be more revenues. You, you can't duck this much longer. You know, I drive these roads all the time. I drove on a road coming from Royal Oak here to the studio. Mm -hmm. They're now at long last improving it. We need to do much better. So there are so many unresolved issues because in Washington there's been such polarization. You know, I've been here for a few years. I've run against Republican. I ran against Bill Milliken. Mm -hmm. And there were differences, but we've become friends, the governor and I, because there was enough common ground on which we stood despite our differences. Now you have, I think, the polarization. I think the Republican Party of 20, 30 years ago in this country has very much changed and has gone too far to the right and has made, us, made it difficult for us to work. So I want to go back and try to make things happen much better in Washington, get people to work together to tackle all of these outstanding issues that I've mentioned, all of them, because as we sit here, so many problems in Washington have not been addressed. Right. And we have foreign policy issues, too. We do have foreign policy issues. We'll have to tackle those next time around, and we appreciate your coming in for this segment of Democracy 2014. Congressman Sander Levin, 
he is running in the ninth congressional district.